Hi YouTube, it's Anderson Printful's marketing team. In this video, we'll look at mobile graphic design apps that can be used to create designs for different print-on-demand products. If you're always on the move and in need of a decent graphic design app for your tablet, watch this video until the end to find the one you need. Some of them will have a one-time payment, however, a lot of them are free. Let's get started. First in our list is Procreate. It's an award-winning, powerful painting and drawing app that lets you create rasterized artwork. With a one-time payment of $9.99, this app comes with an extensive customizable brush library that lets you create any type of brush. And to get the most out of this app, you will need an Apple Pencil. If you have used desktop apps in the past, you will find that the Procreate user interface is minimal, with all the panels hidden. But this doesn't affect the overall experience from using it. The app is very intuitive and it's really easy to get used to it. You can create canvases with custom size, DPI, and color space. Depending on your iPad model, you may run into some limitations when choosing the dimensions of your canvas. The larger the resolution of your files, the fewer amount of layers you get to work with when creating your artwork. Procreate does require processing power, and not all iPads have the same specs. Keep your product in mind when making your design, as this will help you choose the right dimensions. You can also export your artwork as a PNG, which is great if you wanted to have a transparent background. You can also save your projects in a PSD format and continue editing them on your desktop computer, in Photoshop, or any other graphic editing software. Procreate is best suitable for creating designs for DTG products, mugs, and posters. If you're aiming to create all over print pattern designs, the app doesn't offer a feature to create seamless patterns yet, but you can import your design elements as PNGs into our Printful mockup generator and create seamless patterns there. We have a tutorial on our channel about this feature. I'll leave a link in the description for you. Next up, we have Affinity Designer. Just like Procreate, it doesn't have a monthly subscription fee and goes for a one-time payment of $19.99. Affinity Designer has a unique feature that lets you create both vector and raster graphics. This can be done by instantly switching for workspaces that are called personas that have different sets of tools. Use the pixel persona to plan and sketch your design, and then use the vector persona to create shapes, color fills, and line work. You can switch back and forth between the personas to add shading and adjustments to your illustration. Another great feature is that it allows you to import your fonts and vector brushes from your desktop computer. More importantly, you can create simple artwork without the Apple Pencil. Everything can be adjusted with a tap of a finger. Affinity Designer also gives you access to free stock footage that you can incorporate in your designs. You'll find the user interface quite pleasing, as it has all the panels visible with familiar tools. You can create your artwork in the recommended sRGB color profile and export it as a PNG file with a transparent background, as well as in other formats if you want to do some retouching in desktop applications. If you're new to creating designs and tablets, remember that it will take some time to get used to hand gestures to optimize your workflow. Affinity Designer is extremely useful if you want to create designs for embroidery, as well as print files for different products. Since vector files are scalable, you can easily adjust the elements to fit the product's print area. So far, I only covered two of the best apps that are available for Apple devices. But what about Android? Next on our list is Autodesk Sketchbook. As of April 30th, 2018, Autodesk Sketchbook has become free for desktop, mobile, and tablet devices, both Android and iOS. It is a raster-based drawing app that has 190 customizable brushes. It comes with a predictive stroke assistance feature that helps you draw straight lines and geometrical shapes, as well as apply the right amount of smoothing to curved lines. The user interface is quite intuitive thanks to the rapid UI feature. By swiping your thumb on the screen, you can quickly access brush, color, and layer panels, which are hidden to give you more working space. You can always switch this feature off to have all the panels visible on the screen. On a mobile version, you are able to create a custom-sized canvas and export your artwork with a transparent background or save it as a PSD. However, all exported work will be only at 72 dpi. And if you remember, at Printful we recommend for the final artwork to be submitted at a minimum of 150 dpi. As an alternative, you can try using bigger file dimensions. If you have a file that is 24 by 32 and 72 dpi, you'll get a 12 by 16 file with 144 dpi when you import it to our Printful mockup generator. Keep in mind that Sketchbook only supports RGB color space. All in all, this is a great app for creating your designs from scratch. Moving on to our next entry, Medibank Paint. Medibank Paint is a raster drawing and painting app that's available for desktop, Android, and iOS devices. The base version of this app is free, well, almost. To access the full version, which allows you to select multiple layers, you'll need to watch a video ad first. After that, the base version becomes available for 13 hours. In addition to that, Medibank Paint has in-app purchases, like ad removal and various feature packs. But you can still do a lot with the basic features. The interface is easy to navigate, 
There are a lot of familiar tools and 50 customizable brushes. So the important thing to note is that you're able to create canvases for your artwork in 300 dpi and export them as a JPEG, PNG or a PNG with a transparent background. One thing to note is that on the mobile version of this app, you are not able to select a color profile, which you can do on a desktop app, so you're working in RGB by default. Next, we have Ibis Paint X. It's another free app on our list that's available for both Android and iOS devices. The core version is spring, but some of the features like extra brushes can be unlocked by watching an ad. You can create custom canvases and adjust the DPI settings and export your print files as a PNG. However, you can change the color profile, so by default, you're working in RGB. This is where it comes in handy to have printed color swatches since you're able to see how specific colors come out. If you plan on creating your designs only on portable devices without finalizing them in a desktop application, you need to pay attention to the minor details of your print file. Make sure that all the lines connect and there are no semi-transparency areas within the design elements. Your best bet is to include an additional layer that matches the shape of your final design and fill it with a solid color. This way, when it gets printed, you won't have any unpredictable results. It's not impossible to create print-ready designs on Android, but proceed with caution and make sure to plan out your design so that you don't sacrifice its quality in the end. So, the last three Android apps that we have covered are best suitable for creating simple artwork for DTG, like simplified illustrations or bicolor designs. If you want to know more about it, make sure to check out our design trend video for 2020, where we cover those design trends in detail. If you don't want to download any apps and just want to create elementary designs, you can do that in Printful's mockup generator. With constantly updated features, sample graphics, texts, and clip arts, you can create designs for any products that are available in our catalog, completely free. We have step-by-step -step tutorials showing how this can be done for DTG and all of our products, so feel free to check them out anytime. And that's it! I hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking for free Adobe alternatives to use on your desktop computer, we have a video for that as well. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and tap on the little bell icon to never miss out on new videos about design, marketing, and e-commerce business tips. So, do you use any of the apps I mentioned? Or maybe you know others that did not make the list? Let me know in the comments.